and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. What do I owe the rare honor of your visit, Zodak? My race is sworn not to interfere with the affairs of mortals. Therefore, I come only with this warning. Grave danger faces all of us this day, a danger so enormous the mind can scarcely conceive of it. And its origin is right here, in Eternia itself. But what can it be? You must tell me. Easier to show you with my thought projector. This is unbelievable! Yet, it is true. And it is happening now. Something must be done to stop it. But you are forbidden to interfere. And I may not venture beyond these castle walls, except in the form of the Falcon. There is only one person on this planet who may prevent this catastrophe. The one with the powers of He-Man. The man called Adam. It looks peaceful enough. Those rumblings the villagers heard must have been mild earth tremors. Come on, let's go. We still have to search that far ridge. And the king ordered you to accompany me on this patrol, Prince Adam. Yeah, well, I've developed enough character for one day. I mean, look around. There's absolutely nothing mysterious going on here. Hey, easy on a speed, guys. Me and Cringer can't keep up with you. We better hurry before that storm hits us. What's the matter, Tila? Afraid of a little thunder? Oh, well. Time to be going. Adam, there's still time to check out that ridge without getting drenched. I'll be waiting for you there. Wait a minute. Are you by any chance implying that you can beat me to those hills? Ha! Imply nothing. That is a scientific fact. Not in my book, it isn't. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, well, find this out. There's more than one way to get a prince to scout a ridge. Oh, yeah? I can beat the whole bunch of you. Maybe I should stick to jogging. Acting like a fun-loving prince sure is hard work. Hey, slow down! <laughs> Better tell man-at-arms that this thing's due for a checkup. Zoar! Castle Grayskull at once. But what about Tila? She's sure to come looking for me. Send your sky set back to the palace. She will follow it. Good thinking. Hurry, Adam. I'll just program the autopilot to return to the palace. We've got to get to Grayskull at once. What's up, Adam? I don't know, but it sounds like trouble. And the only way we'll get there in time is as He-Man and Battle Cat. <laughs> Couldn't we just hop a nearby attack track? By the power of Grayskull! Adam, 
I see him again. You have a great challenge facing you, He-Man. Perhaps the greatest of your life. Have you ever heard of the Star Seed? I thought it was a myth. It is no myth. It is real. And it is right here in Eternia. Let me show you in the mirror. Eternia is an unusual planet, for we are located directly in the center of the universe. It was here where we now stand that the explosion took place which created the universe billions of years ago. At the very center of our planet, there is a small piece of the energy left from that explosion. The very energy which set the stars burning and the planet spinning. The star seed. Speak a thing to the star seed and it makes it happen. It can do anything. It is all powerful. For untold ages, the location of the star seed was known only to a chosen few of the cosmic enforcers. But its location is no longer a secret. At this very moment, Skeletor is tunneling his way to the center of Eternia. Can you imagine what would happen if he gets the star seed? He could easily capture Castle Grayskull. Worse, you must get the star seed before Skeletor does. But how? Skeletor's got the drilling machine, not us. Follow him through the tunnel he's drilling and overtake him. Lastly, a warning. No mortal can touch the star seed without succumbing to its dark side. The star seed will tempt you to do evil. You must fight it. Now go. Every second brings Skeletor closer to the star seed. <laughs> Marco, we found it. I don't like that creepy noise. Skeletor's drilling machine. Uh, how do I let myself get into these fixes? No time for cold feet, Orko. We're the only ones standing between Skeletor and the Star Seed. Oh, all right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. I only hope the rest of the universe appreciates what we're doing. through this rock any faster? <sighs> the rock's too hard, Skeletor. Too hard? My drilling machine is unstoppable. Oh, if I push too hard, the drill point will be blunted. Must drill faster! Must have the star seed! An intruder! He-Man! Ah! <sighs> That muscle-bound meddler, let me take care of him. No, I have anticipated this. He-Man! Looking for something, He-Man? You know why I'm here, Skeletor, and I'll stop you whatever it takes. Huh. Within the hour, no force in the universe will be able to stop me. Least of all, you! Not even He-Man can pound his way through a half mile of solid rock. Trapped. We'll never stop Skeletor in time now. Ah, you've trapped He-Man, but you've trapped us as well. How will we get out? Simpletons, when I have the star seed, I'll be able to move mountains. Something Skeletor could get his hands on that star seed any minute now. It could take me hours to dig through this rubble. I don't suppose you could whip up a quick spell to get rid of all this rock. I can sure try. By the powers of dusk and dawn, I bid you, Barrier, now be gone. At the rate you're going, we'll be down here for years, Orko. Stand clear. Good work, my friend. But I'm afraid we may be too late. Stars. When Skeletor gets his hands on the Star Seed, he will finally rule the universe. And I'll be his second in command. You? 
He said I could be second in command. Why would he want a fuzzy face greater like you? Rolling under him when he could have someone with my brain. Why, you fish-faced meathead. Silence, fools! The star seed must be near. Absolute power is within my grasp. What is it, Cat? Look! A gap. It's too narrow, but it could be widened. Stand clear, both of you. I think we can get this rock pile to settle down. Come on, we may make it yet. Push! The machine can't go through that crystal. It will break the drill. Fools, can't you even move a rock? Skeletor! Making that pair do your dirty work? I'm surprised you didn't bring some of your slaves. You flippin' fool! Within minutes, the whole cosmos will be my slave. Not if I have anything to say about it. Not so fast, E-Man. Orko! Now, He-Man, here are my orders. Obey you? Never. You will, or your little friend becomes my personal property. I want you to clear the way this rock. You bag of bones, I'll whip up such a spell and get out of here. Please. You're going to be in such trouble. You couldn't conjure your way out of a gunny sack, you pipsqueak. You'd better move, He-Man. We have no choice, Battle Cat. <laughs> they must be nearly there, Skeletor. But how will you know the star seed when you see it? I'll know. Don't worry. Oh, yeah? I got the beginning of an idea. I found it! Onward! Star Seed must be here somewhere. Uh, uh, all demons! Uh, hey, I'm free! I gotta get out of here! We'll never make it past those monsters without Skeletor's force field equipment. The drill won't work in this crystal. Skeletor, if you want to get out of this, you'd better accept my terms. Very, very well. What, what do you want? I'll arrange it so you can use your force field projector on them. But then you must leave this place. And let you get the star seed? In a few seconds, they are going to be the only authority here if you don't agree with my terms. All right. No, no, Skeletor. I get to fool. I know what I'm doing. Maybe we can lure them into using those crystal rays on themselves. Cat, jump on its shoulder. Battle Cat, jump! <gasps> the Star Sea! But what if Skeletor gets here before He Man? Have I got an idea? Maybe I can find something that looks like it. Not quite. I'm gonna do this right if it takes all day. Uh huh. This is close enough. <laughs> Skeletor, 
Use your force field projector. Now. Now for you, E-Man. Oh, no, you don't. Stop He-Man, whatever it takes. Whoever captures He-Man will be my second in command. I figured you'd go back on your word. I have you now. No, he's mine. Haste makes waste, fellas. See you later. Let's go, cat. The star seed. It's mine. <laughs> mine, mine. <laughs> At last, it's mine. Don't be so sure of that. One of these is the real star seed. But which one, Skeletor? It must be mine. I was here first. Hear me, old Starseed. In case he man in chains, which not even he can break, then send him away to the furthest planet of the coldest star in the universe. A fake! Courtesy of me. That means... You have the real one. You know better than to oppose me now, Skeletor. I hold the power of the Star Seed. The universe could be rid of your evil. I could rid the entire universe of evil. Nothing could stop me. No one would dare oppose my will. Whatever I want, I could have. We're not so far apart, are we, He-Man? I can see why you wanted the Star Seed so badly. The feeling of power is very strong. He-Man, what are you saying? You're becoming evil, He-Man. I can sense it. And join forces with me. Together we will rule. Rule? To rule the universe. He-Man, the Star Seed will tempt you to do evil. You must fight it. But, but what am I saying? Remember your virtue, your duty. I could use this to stop you, Skeletor. No, no! But if I use this power against you, then I'm no better than you are. Skeletor! Come on, little friend, we have a date with the sorceress. So, Dak. Greetings, He-Man. We have brought the Star Seed for safekeeping. <coughs> He-Man, you have succeeded admirably in your test. Test? Yes. You see, some time ago you were given great powers. So great, in fact, that from time to time it is necessary to test your virtue. That is why I myself allowed Skeletor to learn of the Star Seed's location. You did? But why? Because by refusing to use the power of the Star Seed, even on one as evil as Skeletor, He-Man has proved himself truly worthy of his powers. Remember, he that true goodness comes from knowing when not to use force. Farewell, noble He-Man. Goodbye, Goodbye Zadak. Have you been? Well, I was getting soaked. And I figured we'd searched enough, so I came home. Only I got lost. You figured we'd searched enough. Hmm? You got lost. Uh-huh. <laughs> May I remind you that you're a prince? Don't you have any sense of responsibility? Well, everything's all right, isn't it? That's not the point. Suppose those rumblings really had been something. Something? Like what? Well, suppose there'd been a real problem, like... Well, like... Skeletor! Oh, it wouldn't have been anything that He-Man and Battle Cat couldn't handle. And Orko! <laughs> you said it, little friend. And Orko. There are times when everybody dreams of becoming very rich or powerful. 
but what they don't think about are the problems and responsibilities that go with it. In today's story, He-Man was tested, and he proved his worth when he was able to resist the temptation to use his great power for any selfish gain. He knew that it's just as important to know when not to use force as it is to know when to use it.